right, just, all right, you just stay there. Don't come any closer. Coming from, they're launching an attack. We gotta start taking them out. Oh my flip, dude! I knew this day would come for the peacock strike back. All right, get that guy out of here. Still your cassowaries. Oh my gosh, bro, what is going on? All right, guys, don't worry. I think I got most of the peacock cassowaries, or at least I stopped their attack. But anyway, dudes, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. For those of you guys who are like, yo, what the heck is going on? Why is this dude killing a lot of peacocks? Well, don't worry, that's a valid question, okay? I ask myself that a lot. But don't worry, all right? The peacock cassowaries have invaded my Minecraft world literally all the flipping time. They're just out here. They're just causing ruckus. They're, you know, squawking everywhere. So, you know, sometimes I accidentally maybe kill a few here and there, and it seems like they decided to launch an attack because now there's literally, like, this is the most I've ever seen. All right, boys, but anyway, I'm getting a little bit out of focus here. Today, we're not worried about stinking peacock cassowaries. Today, I'm actually going to be showing you something I've checked out, like, I want to say eight or nine months ago. I showed you guys these really awesome brand new Minecraft golems that you can now kind of craft and summon in your Minecraft world. And I recently just figured out that you can turn them hostile. Now, obviously, normally Minecraft golems, you know, they're super nice. Who is that dude behind me? Um, um, Hi. My name's Jack, just a friendly neighborhood zombie. All right, dude, you're not friendly. Oh my gosh, they invaded my house too? Everything is going wrong. But anyway, dudes, as I was saying, I showed you guys some pretty awesome golems, which I'm going to be checking out today. But instead, in this video, I'm going to be trying to actually take them down. And some of these golems, unlike this zombie, are super difficult to kill. So I'm kind of curious. Okay, first off, I'm really curious how I'm going to get the heck out of here. Okay, maybe I can do this. All right, yeah, come into my house. Here you go. Join the Peacock Castleberries. All right, 360. Run around that dude. And, uh, yep, there you go. Trapped in there. Bessie, please go call the exterminator and uh, summon a nuclear explosion to come down on my house because there's peacocks in there and there's flipping zombies everywhere. All right, guys. But anyway, let's start crafting some stuff. Now, I believe Bessie told me she got me some stuff. Oh, ho, ho. Looks like we have some stuff for today. So we have uh, some cool alien pistols. We have a solid shotgun so that we can take them down. Now, some of these dudes are extremely overpowered, and they have, like, thousands of health, I think, or at least a couple hundred. So it looks like we also have uh, some nuclear explosions up in here. So I'm hoping this should be enough to take some of these guys down. So let's see. In this chest, we have the different stuff we need in order to craft some of the golems. So let's go check it out. Looks like we have some stone golems in here. We also have ourselves an obsidian golem. And then we're gonna eventually be working our way up to this giant colossus right here, which you can make out of cobblestone, obsidian, and iron, which <laughs> you'll see in just a couple minutes. Thing is absolutely crazy. But the first one we have is just a tiny little stone. Oh, hi, hi buddy. Just like a stone zombie. All right, morning. Okay, all right, yeah, they're all hostile now, so I should probably just take them out. All right, so yeah, that was pretty much, you know, the most basic one. Next up, I believe you can now make a, like, smaller version of an iron golem. Let's see. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. All right, so this guy has 40 health. It's basically like an invisible ghost player just made out of iron. So let's see. Let's try out what we have. The pistols. Bam. Okay, 10 damage a pop. Oh, what's up, man? Finish him off with a nade? Oh, no, no, no. I threw it way too far. Oh, my gosh. That just blew up right in that dude's face. So, yeah, so far, they're not super overpowered. But we're really not too far into the golems. So let's go see. We have our shelf. Uh, what is this? Just a simple cobblestone, dude. Hi All right, dude. You don't have to hit me. All right, this guy's actually not too crazy. I should just be able to take him out with one single grenade to the face. Any last words? Nope. Okay, take that. So yeah, as you can see, some of the golems are better than others. I don't think we've seen a golem yet that's better than the regular iron golem. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna change in, like, just two seconds here. So this is the obsidian golem. This is, uh, yeah, a lot stronger than the iron golem. It does around the same damage, except it barely takes any damage when you actually hit it. He's also really flipping fast. Holy crap. All right, all right, uh, take this, uh, giant net to the face. Bam! Five damage. Five damage. I'm pretty sure a grenade is supposed to do at least 20. 
All right, let's see. Can I hit you with the Tesla rifle? Oh, I accidentally... Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to kill that sheep. All right, this did a decent amount. What did that do? Seven? We have the shotgun. That only just three? That is insane. All right, what about these things? Ten damage. There we go. So these things negate right past armor. So, oh, I almost just killed Bessie, okay? Back the heck up, bro. Yeah, shoot you in outer space. All right, there we go, boys. Took down the obsidian golem. All right, so yeah, that's kind of a short introduction. Now, we also have some very weird golems. So I'm not entirely sure if I remember what this one was. Bessie told me to do it. Uh, let's see. We do a fence post on the bottom. So let's test this out. We do this, and then we do a wool. It almost looks like a scarecrow. Okay, bam. Oh, hi. It actually is a scarecrow. I knew it. I mean, we got the wool back. I don't know why. But uh, bye. See you later, dude. Oh, my gosh. I just wrecked him. All right. So, yeah, I guess you could uh, recruit a scarecrow if you want. Now, also by default, these things should protect you. So, I mean, if you do want to have a decent mob in order to you know, add in some new young mobs, we have some more golems, definitely check this out. But next up, we have a soul sand golem. What the hero, Brian? Hero, Brian. All right, that I really don't think this is the real hero, Brian, but still kind of scary. All right, I knew a mistake of peacock cast where it's all your fault. All right, any last words, hero, Brian? Okay, no threat. Two, one, boom, get wrecked. So far, so good, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like <laughs> next up we have ourselves a uh, very, very awesome melon pumpkin. Hello, melon golem. My name is Jack. How are you doing? Um, doing good? Okay, that's cool. This is the first guy who doesn't actually want to kill me. Now, to be fair, I don't think this guy can actually hurt anything. I think he's literally just like to have around the world. So we shall name you, what do we think? Uh, Frank, Frank the Melon Golem. All right, Frank, you go off, do your own thing, go grocery shopping, I don't know, whatever the heck melon things do. And we shall keep moving on. So next up, we have, I think it's a Furnace Golem. I kind of forget a little bit since it's been a while. But there we go, we do the Furnace right there, do Cobblestones right on the side, and then that don't tap. I thought, oh, so we actually have to power this dude. So, huh, should I power him? I don't know if I should power him, ladies and gentlemen, but I feel like you guys want me to. So let's say, all right, I flipped and knew that was going to happen. All right, I only fed him one piece of coal, so I'm kind of curious. Will he run out? Wow, he is really quick, and I actually think he did the most damage out of all the golems so far. All right, dude, uh, I only fed you one. Can you just back the heck up, man? Get the heck out of here. I didn't want to do that. I kind of just wanted him to, like, you know, slowly run out. But I don't know. I guess one coal lasts for a pretty long time. But, ladies and gentlemen, I think it worked our way up through, like, the basic golems. And now it is time to build the giant colossus. Now, first things first, let's build it out of cobblestone. We can also build it out of iron. And last but not least, we have ourselves obsidian. So, from what I remember, these guys have uh, at least 100 health. Maybe, I forget if it goes up to 1,000. But I think it's like this, something like uh, we'll do some legs right there. We'll get some blocks on top. There do we go. I kind of don't remember if that's right. All right, but I think you do a top layer just like this. And then a creeper head. Oh, uh, hi, buddy. Um, Yeah, uh, my name's Jack. Can I, can we be friends? No, he, he doesn't look like, okay, he's definitely going to kill me. All right, let's try and give him a hug. What's up, man? Oh. Oh, I just remembered. You can actually get on top of these things backs. So as you guys may or may not have heard, uh, yeah, these things are generally supposed to be nice to you. Unless if you mess around with their configuration a tad bit. Dude, he's so confused. So you're supposed to be able to ride on their back and you can press space to make them attack. And you're also should be able to walk around with them. But since this guy is currently trying to kill me, I can't. Ha <laughs> ha, on that. Bam, there we go. I can just get on top of his back. And just destroy him. Oh my gosh. That is like an OP tactic, especially for, uh, you know, the giant colossuses. All right, so there we go. I took down the cobblestone one. Now, I think the next strongest is the iron one. So let's do two legs right there. I think they're all built generally the same, but I really kind of forget. All right, there we go. Just like this. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Finish off with a creeper head. All right, hi oh my gosh, one punch to the face almost just took my head off. Now I wonder, can I do this? Okay, I'm really scared to try and do, do that again. Okay, okay, um, all right, just going to get away. I want to try and get on this dude's back. All right, here we go. Gonna st I just want to sneak up on him. All right, I'm just going to hide right here. Hi, buddy. 
Slowly and steadily. All right, here we go. We're going for it. Bam! Yo, it actually worked. <laughs> yeah, punch him in the head. <laughs> That's so awesome. Now, I think from here, I should just be able to shoot a nuke, dude. I don't know how I didn't get damage there, but bam. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let's actually, let's electrocute me a little bit. Bam, there we go. Oh, I feel so bad. But here we go. Three, two, one, jump off. Bam. Get wrecked, bro. So yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We took down every single Colossus so far, except for, I think this is the strongest one, the Obsidian Colossus. Now, I think we have enough Obsidian. Let's see. Yeah, we should be good. So let's build this dude up. I think it's the same as the other three, or the other two. All right, there we go. We have those blocks right there. Pop up. Let's get this guy. Oh, crap. All right, no worries. We'll just leave that uh, obsidian there. Bam, there we go. Just finish this off. Holy crap. All right, bam, there we go. 500 health. Let's see. Oh, okay. He's not as strong as the iron guy, because I think the iron guy almost killed me in one single hit. Now, let's see. Does this dude... Okay, that did 30 attack damage. Um, Let's try out the nuke launcher on this dude. Bam. Okay, that... It did 250 on the other guy, so this guy has some crazy resistance, so I think I should jump on his back. Oh my gosh, almost just died there. So yeah, boys, there you have it. This is the brand new golem. I mean, he's super cool. Also, guys, by the way, leave a like on this video, and also comment down below anything that you think should go up against this golem. I was thinking of becoming like Transformers, or maybe superheroes, and taking these dudes down. Because, I mean, they are super difficult to take down. I, I mean, uh, okay. I was gonna say they're pretty dang difficult to take down, you know, without nukes and stuff like that. But if I'm like a transformer or superhero, it should be somewhat easier. Well, let's finish this dude off. Get over here, sticking obsidian golem. Alright, bam! He also, I just realized, takes zero knockback. Alright, just alright, you just stay there. Don't come any closer. Alright, man. No, 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 no. Oh, that was kind of close. And it looks like when you do take them out, they do drop some of the blocks they're made up of. But yes, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Do not forget to leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe, tap the bell if you do want to never miss out on a brand new video. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. My name is Beck Bro Jack, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace out, dudes.